I also too have another capacitor. These two capacitors are going to get replaced. So now I'm going to take this other end of this capacitor, which is out here, and it's much smaller than the uh, original, but that's okay. I'm just going to lay it across there and put it in that holder, and that's it. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut this cap right there. Now I want to show everybody why I'm replacing this one here. As you can see, this one here is blistered out. That blistering out means that the electrolyte that's inside the capacitor, the oil that's in there, has basically leaked out and this thing is hardened and basically this is garbage. That, that's no good. So now what I'm going to do is, is take this uh, capacitor and I'm going to have to solder these leads together because the lead on a one capacitor is just not quite long enough. So I'm going to pull this sleeve off a little bit. I'm going to cut it. Put it down there. I'm going to push this thing back. Well, guess what? That was not a good solder joint in the factory, I see. It uh, kind of let loose up there. So you know what I'm going to have to do, folks? I'm going to have to solder that. That's a problem. Can't believe it. After all these years, it finally let loose. Okay, it's a little hot. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this here two leads, and I'm going to solder them together. I'm going to bridge them together very nicely. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get my trusty uh, flux, put a little flux on there. I'm going to squeeze again these wires together so that they hold together very nicely. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to solder them. And there you have it. Nice little bridge. Came out nice and clean. And then what I could do is, I can take this and sort of move it out and make it more into free space. Okay, that one there is done. Now, we have one last one to do, and that's this guy over here. So now let me see. Um, that was a 20 microfarad and to ground. So now the plus side of that is going to the ground side. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to have to run this through here because uh, it uh, connects up on the other side. So again, I'm going to make a little loop over here. These pliers are not the best in the world. Now the other step is I put this other capacitor in there. It's a 20 microfarad at uh, 250 volts. And the plus side goes to the uh, ground side of the capacitor, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm soldering it in, making sure it gets a nice, uh, nice joint there. Let it cool down. Then, after she cools down a little bit, what I have to do is, is take this capacitor, and I'm going to have to feed it through the top of the chassis, because that's where she's getting connected. So now what we got to do is, I have to flip this radio around and see where she gets connected and there's where she gets connected and let me tell you ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a tight one so okay she fell out I know where it's got to go so now this one over here it's going to be a very, very tight fit. So now what we have to do is we have to push down this wiring harness so we have to make sure that we don't burn anything on it. Okay, now I'm going to take this lead from this capacitor and I am going to take again and I'm going to bridge it like I did with the other one. Especially in this one here, this is a tight spot. 
and uh, let's see where's my trusty here it is right there I want to take and put some flux on it okay now I'm gonna take my iron and I am gonna like I said just bridge it Well, she lifted up off of there, but that's okay. We know where it has to go. So let me just uh, remove that little bridge. And now what we got to do is, this is tight. May not be able to see what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to have to take this lead the way that thing's out loose but we're gonna take care of that in a minute clear the smoke guess what we are connected there folks now there's one thing I noticed I didn't like I don't like that capacitor moving around like that did not like that at all it's a little bit on a loose side so we're gonna take care of that so what we're going to do is, is we're going to take this other lead over here, we're going to take it, kind of scrape this chassis a little bit, clean it up, get some nice new exposed copper, then we're going to take a little flux, we're going to put some flux on it, and what I'm going to do is, is I want to make this capacitor more secure, i got to have a really, really good ground. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to solder this other lead to it as well. Okay, let her cool down. Cause I don't want that cap moving. Okay, much better, much much better. Okay, 